COVID-19 has created some creativity. I'm using examples like the wizard. For instance, I need to shoot video from this school hallway for safety reasons. What will we agree on? But not even a door frame will block my lens. Oh, I like that. From nine-year-old Cooper Nelson. I'm just saying I like the detail. When the pandemic closed classrooms at Pioneer Ridge Elementary in Johnstown last spring, yeah, I like being in school. Cooper took to the nook at his home in Loveland and learned an important lesson. And I said, can we start a newspaper? They actually, my parents actually said yes. He decided to charge for his newspaper $5 a month. This journalist is also a philanthropist. Every dollar you give to Cooper goes to us, so it's really been an amazing thing. All of the money Cooper raises through his 60 subscriptions to the Lakes Gazette goes to the food bank for Larimer County. And so we were blown away. We thought it was awesome that this nine-year-old uh, little boy was going to help us out like that. Because I wanted to help feed the hungry people during this pandemic. He's always been like the loving, caring, helpful. He has found a way to produce something, and I think that's pretty cool. It's about the New Year's resolutions, like when they first began. His stories are fact-checked and thorough. That's when I visited the food bank and they gave me a private tour. And he's learning the best part of being a reporter. You know what my favorite thing about being a journalist is? What? Meeting cool people. Yeah, like the food bank and you. And I got to meet you. Yeah. Really? Even when his siblings create newsroom chaos, ah! Cooper continues to make deadline. I think it's awesome and I like to help people. Creativity overcomes. What do you think my last shot in this story should be? Emmy being crazy. In all the best ways. Emmy, be crazy. And her. Look at her and be crazy. Nine news. <laughs>